Welcome to DozoChem. This video covers covalent bonding and drawing Lewis structures that follow the octet guideline. A covalent bond occurs between two nonmetals. Since they both have a high electronegativity, the electrons will be shared between the atoms. A Lewis structure is the diagram that shows the covalently bonded atoms and it includes all valence electrons. So in the Lewis structures we're going to draw on the next few slides, a line between two atoms represents a bonding or shared pair of electrons, and two dots on an atom represents a non-bonding or unshared pair of electrons, which is also called a lone pair. This table shows you the relationship between the column in elements in and the number of valence electrons. So column 1 has 1 valence, column 2 has 2 valence, and columns 13 to 18 have 3 through 8 valence electrons as shown on the table. So you may want to refer back to this table as we draw some of the Lewis structures later on in the video. Now the main goal in drawing a Lewis structure is generally to follow the octet guideline. We'll uh, talk about some exceptions in a separate video, but the goal is to end up with eight valence electrons adjacent to every atom in your Lewis structure. Um, so let's do the example nitrogen triiodide and go through the steps you would follow to draw the Lewis structure. So step one says count total number of valence electrons. And uh, in parentheses here, it says that you would add electrons if it was a polyatomic ion with a negative charge or subtract electrons if it was polyatomic ion with a positive charge. Um, so using the table on the previous slide, uh, you know that nitrogen is group 15, so 5 el valence electrons, and iodine group 17 means 7 valence. So the total for nitrogen triiodide, 1 nitrogen, 3 iodines, will be 26 valence electrons. So that's what we're going to end up with in our final Lewis structure. Step two says to connect all the atoms by a single bond or one line between all the atoms. And uh, this little note in parentheses just says if something has a formula that follows this format x, y, n, um, you're going to want to put the single atom x in the center and then the element that there's more than one of around the outside. So in this case it was Ni3, so we put the N in the center and the three iodines around it. Uh, step three says place lone pairs on the outer atoms to achieve an octet. So if uh, let's just look at this iodine over here. You'll see that there's a line coming off of it, so that represents two electrons, and then there's three of these lone pairs so there's six electrons from the lone pairs and one pair of electrons in the bond. So that's a total of eight. Um, and the other two iodines are exactly the same. So that'll give you a total of 24. Uh, but you'll remember from the previous slide, we're looking for 26 in our final drawing, um, 26 valence electrons. So step 4A says just simply place the extra electrons um, as lone pairs on the center to achieve an octet. So if you put the extra pair of electrons on the nitrogen, now nitrogen had three lines coming off of it and only had six, and remember our goal is to get eight, so putting that extra pair on the nitrogen gives it eight, or an octet, and now every atom in my drawing has eight, and I have achieved my goal of an octet on every atom and a total number of valence electrons equal to 26. Let's do an example now of a polyatomic ion, carbonate, CO3 2 minus. Um, so step one, count total valence, but uh, remember we're going to add electrons since we have a negative charge. So carbons group 14, 4 valence. Oxygen group 16, 6 valence. But, and there's three of them, but um, since there's a negative 2 charge, we're going to add two extra electrons. And that'll give us a total of 24 that will need to be in our final Lewis structure. So now we can move a little quicker. Uh, step two, we're going to connect the carbon in the center to three oxygens on the outside by a single bond, and then put lone pairs on the outside atoms, in this case oxygen, 
to achieve an octet on each oxygen. So if you look at this oxygen here, um, there's a line coming off of it and three lone pairs. So it's got eight, as do the other two oxygens. So right now we have 24 electrons, and we're supposed to have 24. So that's the good news. But notice carbon has three lines coming off of it. That's six electrons, and it's supposed to have eight. Um, remember step 4a said put your extra electrons on the center to get an octet. The only problem is we don't have any more valence electrons like we did in the last example. So I can't just throw an extra lone pair on the carbon. So step 4b says move a lone pair from one of the outer atoms to create multiple bonds in order to give the center atom an octet. So um, when you move a pair from the outside, um, you give the center atom two more, but you don't take them away from the outside. So you maintain the same total number of electrons, but you've added two to the center. So what we did is um, come up here. We took this pair of electrons and we moved it between the carbon and the oxygen. Um, so now you end up with a double bond here instead of a single bond. Um, so if you're counting... The carbon now has four lines coming off of it, so it's got eight, and oxygen has two lone pairs and a double bond, which is four electrons, so this oxygen here has got eight as well. So everything's got an octet. My drawing's got 24 electrons, so it's all set. And the uh, final note down at the bottom, it just says, for polyatomic ions, um, Lewis structures are usually shown in brackets with the charge outside. And let's just uh, do one final example, N2, which is going to have a triple bond ultimately. So we'll quickly go through steps 1 to 4A, since nitrogen's in group 15. That's going to have five valence electrons, and there's two of them, so we need 10 total in our drawing. So one way to think about this is to treat one of the nitrogens, let's say the one on the left, like the center atom, and the other one like an outer atom. So first step would be to count the valence, 10, then put a bond between the two nitrogens and give the outer nitrogen an octet by putting lone pairs. So right now we have eight on this nitrogen and we have two extra electrons so we can put them on the left-hand nitrogen. Now my drawing's got 10, so that's the good news, but the nitrogen on the left does not have an octet. It's just got four at this stage. So last step, 4B, is to take these two lone pairs and shift them between the two nitrogen atoms. So we'll slide that one over here, we'll slide this one over here, and ultimately you will end up with a triple bond. Now we've got 10 electrons in our drawing and notice each nitrogen has three lines coming off of it or three bonds. A triple bond that's six electrons and a lone pair gives it eight. So everything's following the octet rule. I've got the correct number of electrons. Um, so my Lewis structure for N2 is all set. So that's it for this video. Good luck.